Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Avengers 60th Anniversary 2-Pack with Thor and the Destroyer. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button. I'm a comic channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we are taking a look at this Marvel Legends Avengers 60th Anniversary Beyond Earth's Mightiest 2 pack with Thor and the Destroyer. Now, this white plastic free packaging never looks good on my white background, but I'll tell you what does look good this brand new, completely pinless Marvel Legends Destroyer, an old school Asgardian villain that has been a gap in my collection for a good while. So happy to be adding him to the collection. And we also have a different version of Thor here. It is the Mighty Thor. Eric Masterson, but we will explain all as we open them up. It is, of course, the 60th anniversary of Avengers theme, so you get the Beyond Earth Mightiest there. The 60th anniversary mention up top with a couple of images on the side, digital render and some from the comics. On the back of the box, some more digital renders of the alternative pieces, interchangeable parts, which isn't a lot, but at least Eric comes with an interchangeable head. But as I said, I am excited to add some new characters to my collection, at least. Let's get it open. And here we have the Mighty Thor and the Destroyer out of the packaging with with those few accessories I've just mentioned. Both of them out of the box. First impressions look really nice. We have seen that Thor body before, but it's got a few tweaks now to make it the Eric Masterson version. And then it's nice to see a brand new updated Destroyer. We have had a couple versions in the past, including the Marvel Select that still holds up pretty well, but I'm glad to see one in the modern Marvel Legends line. Let me get the tape measure out so you can see what we're working with here. So Thor himself comes to about seven inches, but the wings on his helmet take him to just under eight, while the Destroyer is nearly bang on nine inches. So both of them are going to be imposing on an Asgardian display as they should be. But let's break these down one by one and let's start off with Eric. And here we have a closer look at Eric's beautiful blonde beard. And I keep saying Eric to remind you that this is not the original Thor. This is not Odinson. This is Eric Masterson. Someone who did merge with Thor and then carry the mantle as Thor himself while Odinson was banished before eventually getting his own weapon off Odin and becoming Thunderstrike. So there's a bit of history there for you to go and check out, but to set him apart, they gave him the blonde beard. Now, Odinson did go off and eventually have a blonde beard at some point in the comic, so I guess you could head swap, but this for me will be Eric Masterson, and I've done a great job with the digital face printing tech, the blonde beard, the hair sort of sweeping out to the side, and then you've got the big wings on the helmet as well, which is very, very much old school Thor for me. Uh, but otherwise, this is the same body with a sort of tweaked torso, which we're checking out but we do get two head options so this is sort of your unhelmeted head but we do get this second head sculpt with the visor over the whited out eyes which is another staple of Eric Masterson while he was Thor and being Earth's hero so this will definitely set him apart from Odinson in your display so it's nice to have options between the two he still has the blonde beard on show whited out eyes the more tamer hair over the front the big wings on the side here again very classic but without the discs and and then some hair on the back. Overall, very nice. Two helmeted heads, but one without the eye visor. Both very much nice for Eric Masterson representation. And you have your options now for the display. So as I throw up a side by side, you can let me know in the comments below which head scoop are you going to use in your display to represent this Eric Masterson version of four. Visor on or visor off. So now we've looked at the head sculpts, let's not mess around and get straight into a comparison here as there is no secret that Eric is just reuse of the 80th anniversary version of Thor. And why not? It's a solid representation of the character and Eric is just another version of Thor. So let's play that classic game of Marvel Legends, spot the difference. The first thing I notice is the boots on Odinson are the classic black boots with the yellow wraps all the way up to the knee guards where Eric has the gold boots from the toes all the way up to the knee guards. Both of them have a different shade of blue on the trousers and Odinson has those six discs on his body, four on the torso and two on the trunks, where Eric are missing the two discs on the trunks. But both of them have the same sort of black top with the bare arms and the same wrist cuffs. Both of them have the gold belt with the T sculpted in there for Thor, but just a different shade of gold. The big difference is, of course, this skin tone showing on the side of Eric in comparison to Thor, as was the costume at the time. So that 
that is your only difference. At first, I thought it could be a different torso piece, but no, it is just different in deco alone. Then looking at the back of the figures, you can see both of them have the same sculpted cape. The only difference being the red deco. It's a much more vibrant red on Eric compared to the darker tones with the black wash on the Odinson version. Both of them have the same hair sculpt dangling down as well on the back. A quick comparison of the hammer. You can see Milnier has more detail in the deco for the original Odinson version compared to Eric, but both of them are the exact same hammer in sculpt. Only difference is in the detail as Eric's is just a little bit darker, but as you can see, both of the sculpted writing is on there. Just no wash for the Eric version, so it stands out a little bit more for the original Thor, but otherwise they are the same hammer. Of course, he can hold the hammer no problem at all as you do get a gripping hand with an up and down hinge in it, which definitely works for the hammer. You get one open palm hand to sort of wield some lightning, but you do get one interchangeable fisted hand. And of course, because they are sharing the same body, you can put Eric's bearded head onto your Odinson body, as I'm sure he did have a beard at some point, but for me, this will be Eric, not Odinson. And yes, the Odinson head also works on this costume design. And I'm I do think that Odinson wore this costume for a little bit, so that could work. So in conclusion, you can use both of these versions of Thor in the display at the same time, and it make complete sense. But we do have some other versions just for comparison. So let me bring in this one I've had for a very, very long time from the Epic Hero days. I believe that version I got in a, a Disney Store 5 pack, I think. But that's always been a solid version of old school Viking Thor. I've also got the sort of unworthy the Thor here as well, who's a little bit shorter than Eric, but there's another version of Thor. I think you've got two opportunities to get him in the past. Uh, let me bring in uh, Beta Ray Bill, as I do think Eric Mad Masterson was Thor during the Thor Corp sort of run, which these two teamed up. Uh, and then last but not least, of course, Eric Masterson went on to become his own hero in Thunderstrike. So these two are the same people, the same person. Uh, this is what he did before Thunderstrike. But there you go. And yes, the Thunderstrike head and hammer work with this Thor body, which isn't inaccurate, but I just don't think I can find a panel where he's got the ponytail. But you can find panels of him wielding this weapon, of course, while he had this costume because he was wearing this head sculpt. There you go. That's more accurate. Thunderstrike with Thunderstrike. Moving on to the main event, at least for me, we have this ancient, mystical, enchanted Asgardian armor, the destroyer that has battled for on many an occasion. So it will fit perfectly into your Asgardian display. Now remember this is plastic imitating metal, but I do think they've done a pretty good job here as the chrome does shine very nicely underneath these lights. So I do think it does a good job of imitating the metal here. The head sculpt is on a dumbbell joint, so you do get a little bit of tilt there and of course, rotation all the way around but limited looking up and down there are is a movement there but it just it's just limited that's all the shoulder piece is a separate piece as well so it doesn't limit the arm going all the way around as you can see it moves with it and also the arms can go up to 90 as well as it's a separate sort of softer piece attached to the shoulder joint under there so that's a pretty good job you've got the spikes which are sharp to touch that go all the way down the arm here in three rows with the middle row being a little bit thicker and again that happens on the torso all the way down to the legs as well. So those spikes are all sculpted on there as well as these lines going across the body. All sculpted and completely pinless as you can see. Double jointed knees, single jointed arms. I'll move it in a minute to see how it looks. Uh, on the back of mine, I do have like an unfortunate marbleization though. I'm gonna pretend it's a crack in the armor or battle damage, but I do think that is a mishap in the molding process of the plastic. You can see I've got like this crack going across mine. So you let me know if that's on yours. It is a little bit down darker but there's definitely a crack in mine here and again I can't really tell if there's a wash on this figure I think there is like a wash uh, in certain places that just make it a little bit darker and does bring out a little bit of the sculpted detail a little bit more up close I can definitely see some darkness which I do think is intentional uh, but it does look very nice again it is plastic imitating metal and uh, it looks very nice so let's move it again heads on a dumbbell arms go all the way around as you've seen single jointed elbows which are quite thick the torso piece here, a lot more movement than I expected. Forward, like so, and also back, pretty good. So 
Lots of movement there as well as the wiggle and the swivel on the waist. Uh, legs go all the way up to 90, so we can do the big boot. Double jointed pinless knees, but he can't kick his own ass because they're so thick. But he does have a thigh cut, which is very nice. The legs will go about that far wide as well. And you get ankle pivot and rock out. No boot cut though. So lots of range here for such a big figure. Remember, this is nine inches, so it's going to be imposing compared to any character you have on the shelf. But it also moves nicely as well with the sculpted detail being very nice pinless with the spikes and there is a bit of wash on there all in all, I think they've done a good job. In regards to accessories out of the box, he comes with a set of fisted hands, which I do like these spikes uh, on the wrists, which I like uh, knuckle dusters, if you will. They are going to hurt if you get punched by them. So two fisted hands. We also get an open palm hand over here, a little bit more expressive, a little bit more gesturing. And then this hand over here is an open grip. It looks like a fist, but it's an open grip. And that is so he can hold weapons just like Milnir here, uh, which is a very tight grip. Grip, so that is not falling out of his hand anytime soon. And just to show you how big and imposing he actually is, here he is towering above Ulick, who is a pretty solid, beefy Asgardian villain as it is. But let's bring in some other. So I've got that old, bigger, thicker Thor. So you can see that these still pair up very nicely as well. And of course, let me bring in Beta Ray Bill. So you can see even Beta Ray Bill looks tiny in comparison to the Destroyer. And let me bring Thor back in as we wrap up some comparisons. So obviously we have Loki who has controlled the Destroyer a couple of times in the comics. So they're a good pair. We also have Hercules here who I do think does team up or is at least Paddy Paddy with Eric Masterson. That is obviously the more modernized version of Hercules. Though. We do have a more classic looking version. Uh, we also have Lady Sif. Uh, who did get in a bit of a love triangle with Thor and Eric Masterson because of this one here. Enchantress uh, enchanted Eric to be in love with Thor, which led to Thor and Eric fighting. Of course, she is wearing those dastardly female heels, so she is going to be a pain to stand. Uh, there you go, she stood. Way. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There's a good comparison. But let me get uh, let me get Sif back in here just so we can do a little love triangle for the display. So there we have Lady Sif looking very good from the A-Force box set. And then here we have the other Odinson. And these three definitely formed a little love triangle in the comics. But that was Enchantress playing games and Sif ultimately chose Thor anyway. And then to wrap up, here we have the Destroyer and Eric next to the Who crew with Frogman, Tigra and White Rabbit. And then last but never least, here we have Captain Britain and Hal Fire Hank. So, final thoughts on this Marvel Legends 60th Anniversary 2-pack with Eric Masterson Thor and the Destroyer. Now, I am always happy to add new characters into my collection and I was missing the Destroyer. I've been very tempted to pick up the Select in the past or backtrack on other versions, but I am happy with this new version. I do think this is the best Marvel Legends representation of that classic Asgardian villain. Looks great, so I'm happy to have him. And Eric Masterson is one of those other characters which people grew up on. Like if you were reading comics in the 90s, especially the early 90s, Eric Masterson was Thor. So for a lot of people, that could be their favorite representation of Thor so it's nice to get a new accurate character version out there but it is reuse of a body we've seen twice already in the 80th anniversary and in the cyborg so people would have probably wanted some updates there whether it be pinless arms and legs or something but the head sculpts are very nice and ultimately both of these are still solid representations of the source material in Marvel Legends form but as always you can love it or you can hate it you can let me know in the comments below don't mess around if you like Marvel Legends please Please, please hit that subscribe button, hit all the notification bell, don't miss out on the video, and please hit that join button, become a channel member, either show some love, or join the members club, much, much appreciated, you can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who, or I'm on Twitter as well, tweet me, Dan Who Reviews, and until then my name is Dan W, and of course, see you on the next one. <laughs>